before my accident, I spent the past 10 years in the gaming industry, uh, working for some high profile companies, uh, typically on video games. In March of 2006, I went on a recreational dirt bike excursion with some good friends of mine. I was just coming down a hill and my back tire hit a rock I didn't see. It flipped the bike forward and I simply hyperflexed my neck. Shattered my C5 and uh, my life changed quite a bit, pretty dramatically. Everything from my collarbones down doesn't function. So that was kind of the end of my, of my official gaming industry career, if you will. But I always kind of hoped that I could find my way back. Came across a gaming engine um, that I worked with for a little while and became really excited about it after working with it a little bit, becoming a little bit more familiar with it. Even with kind of my limitations, I thought, you know, I, I could probably do something simple uh, with this. The game we have currently developed is called Blizzwords. It's a word hunt game, a word search game, and we've developed it currently for Apple products, uh, iPad and iPhone. We're also excited about releasing it on Android platforms as soon as possible. So in simple terms, it really is kind of Boggle and Tetris put together. Uh, I am essentially the sole creative director, programmer, of, of the company. So how I work with the computer, yeah, the best thing that works for me is I use a um, the touchpad as a mouse. So I use that for frankly all my um, most of the clean art that I do and to move and to get around the computer is my mouse. Uh, as far as the coding goes, um, the programming, I've got my right pinky knuckle and that's how I type. It's one key at a time and um, a little laborious, but uh, I'm actually, I've actually gotten fairly quick at it. It has been so fantastic to finally be part of a launch again and develop a, a game that's, that is out to entertain and, uh, and that people can enjoy. I guess one of the messages I'd like to, uh, to relay, um, something that's personal and dear to me, is just the fact that I don't really consider myself disabled in any way. I've never considered my motor capabilities as my number one asset. I've always believed my number one asset is up here in my mind and my creativity. And that's kind of a message I'd really like to share is you, you have absolutely no limitations except those that you create for yourself.